The first flush diverter is the first filter in the rainwater harvesting system. Okay, so I just installed or finished installing the, the first flush diverter in my rainwater harvesting system. I'm moving incrementally from gutters to uh, drip irrigation in the garden. So I have done the gutters and you can watch that video. I'll flash a little banner here if you're interested in uh, lessons learned installing cheap gutters. Uh, the first flush diverter uh, is a system that I found online from a rainwater harvesting system. And I'll put the links to the stuff that I use in the notes. But I'll also, if you go over to NewHampshireMan.com, I think it's slash rain or just search rainwater harvesting. Uh, I, I compiled, a, there's a page with all the information, like the resources I use, the math that I did to figure out how to size stuff. That is all at NewHampshireMan.com and I welcome you to check that out and I hope that it helps if you decide to install some rainwater harvesting gear at your site. Um, Let's start at the top. I'll take you up there and we'll see the, the first filter uh, of two, essentially two filters in a first flush diverter. All right, so here we are up at the roof. Notice gutters. All right, down spout, little elbow, elbow, and here's the filter. So what happens is water is, and any debris is gonna flush out of here. It's gonna hit that screen. Big stuff won't get through. And then what's really cool is that the wa the big stuff that gets caught on the screen gets washed off by water um, coming out of the gutter. So hopefully that's how that works. Okay, and then out of that, it goes in down here. I put this T, there's a couple ways to do this and either on the um, equipment's website or online, you can see different ways to plumb this filter but uh, for me right below I'm trying to get as much height as possible in my tank so right below the filter is the T and uh, so the, what's gonna have this pipe is going to fill up with water and when it fills up there's a ball inside that comes up to this T and plugs it and then when that's full it curves around to this other leg all right, I'm going to pause here. I took a video of how this thing is put together, so I'm going to let's let's take a look at that. All right, I want to show you how this leaf eater works. Uh, you'll see, uh, I'll, I'll flash a video like there's this PVC pipe going up to where the downspout comes out of the gutters, and there's this uh, filtered little funnel thing right there. But here's the cool part. So right below that funnel is going to go this T, and then. The idea is, the idea is that that, that pipe is going to fill with water. This thing is uh, located in this T. This ball is inside the pipe. This ball will float up as that pipe fills and it will seal the T like yay. So now that the pipe is full of water and that T is sealed, the water will not flow down anymore, it'll flow this way. So what that's doing is it's catching the first uh, flush of water off the roof in this tube and not sending it to the tank because that's where all the debris and leaves and stuff like that is uh, primarily going to be coming from. Uh, so there's, there's like two filters there, right? There's a screen on top of that catch at the top and that'll take all the big stuff and then all the smaller stuff that makes it through the screen hopefully will get caught in this tube. And then you should ask, well, what about when that tube's full of water and everything, right? So, like, between rainstorms, this goes on the bottom, and it bleeds all the water out of it through this little nipple. And in this nipple, there's another filter so that it doesn't clog. And there is a screen right here. And I don't know if you can see that. There's just a little hole right in the middle of that. And that's just going to let a little drip go out over time. So between rainstorms, that tube will drain out and um, by the time it rains again, it will be empty to fill back up. The last thing I will show you is that it comes with uh, two different size holes. There's a smaller one, there's a bigger one, <clears throat> and a bunch of them. I started with a smaller one. I don't know anything about it. Uh, if it matters that much, I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll show you some more vid after I get it all installed, but I wanted you to see the internals before I put it all together. 
All right, so this is this is all pretty simple, right? The only other thing I, I want to give you right now is that uh, these clamps for the four inch pipe, I found those kind of hard to find. Um, but anyway, I got them from McMaster Car and um, I think they're awesome. Well, they're actually, um, they're, they're just great. They're perfect. Uh, and then I made some blocks that I had to use there because I'm running right down the edge of the barn to get as much gutter as I can and because I also want to miss this um, awning over a barn door. And then lastly this part over here because of the way I had to put it on the side of the barn it stood off of the, this side of the barn by about seven inches so uh, pretty simple little get up there. And then this last part, like that's not a rigged up, right? Like, so I'm going to have to cut that pipe and put an elbow on the end of it um, uh, and orient that right over my tank, which is right there. So the next step here is to um, I have a post and beam frame that I'm going to put that tank on. And uh, so I need to start cutting that up and pour some footings and get that get that tank up in the air. So until then, this might be it. So that's pretty simple, right? That's the, the first flush diverter on a rainwater harvesting system. Uh, I hope you obtained a little bit of value out of that or added some clarity to a system you're trying to build. And um, like I said, from here, I need to get that tank up in the air. Once I get the tank up in the air, I'm going to put all the plumbing in to distribute drip tape throughout my property. A couple notes, like I wanted to get that tank um, as high as possible and I got it so that the top of the tank is about 10 feet uh, which I'm hoping I think is going to be enough should be enough for a garden plot that you don't see um, because I need it's like eight, 8 to 10 feet of, of uh, height of water head is what I need to get the, the, the 4 psi minimum for drip tape so for this plot right behind me the one you do see that might be tight but um, We'll see, like, that's fun. Um, and then it'll be fun getting into like how we plumb the, um, some, other, some other filters from the tank and all that. All that will come later. I'm documenting it at NewHampshireMan.com and here on YouTube. So please do subscribe, swing over to the site and check that out. And uh, send out a monthly newsletter too. And please subscribe to that. Cheers. Actually, one last little monologue before I close this out. <clears throat> And that's about like what the whole mission of New Hampshire Man is and what's going on here. Like it's not a homesteading blog and I'm not just showing you this because like I'm trying to get you to go back to the roots. Like what this is, it's, it's, it's a pursuit for personal freedom and it's doing things, lifestyle design, like purposely designing things into your life that make you happy. And I'm reading this book now by Harry Brown, How I Found Freedom in an Unfree World. And shout out to Roger Paxson for putting me onto that. And it's like everything we do is the means and the ends is happiness, right? So this project, this rain and water harvesting thing, this is, the, this is the means for me to get to the ends of happiness. Like I found uh, real genuine joy out of thinking about this, designing it, and now installing it. And seeing it come together is truly rewarding. And while I was, you know, sweating, uh, a lot uh, putting this up in the sum summer heat yesterday like I was happy out here putting that together and um, I, I think that's what I want to convey to you like it doesn't matter to me whether you choose to harvest rainwater or not if you do I hope that you're able to gain some value out of this from an instructional tutorial sort of way and maybe and you know foster some ideas for for yourself but if this isn't something that makes you happy don't do it and do whatever it is that makes you happy and it really takes some genuine thought and reflection to figure out what that is and it's not what everybody's taught you that it is like um, we see this so much now like people in these jobs and make them miserable they spend their whole life aspiring for retirement and then when they reach retirement they have no idea what they're going to do like their whole life is spent not pursuing their own personal happiness uh, and freedom so that's the motivate that's the takeaway that's what i want you to to leave this with and when you come visit new hampshire man like i, I hope that uh i hope that you're able to pick that up like there's as i keep putting more content up there i'm concerned that the core message sort of gets lost in everything else but that's what it is it's it's finding happiness doing what makes you happy 
not just because someone told you like don't do rainwater harvesting because it makes me happy do whatever it is that makes you happy right i hope that's coming across loud and clear and um, you know one other thing that's really made me happy is is writing and we hear that whether it's from tim ferris to keep a journal or you know there are few people i've actually probably you know never heard anyone say that uh writing hasn't brought them joy writing when you're told to write something that you don't give a hoot about like that doesn't bring you joy but when you can journal and write about your own life and the things that you're doing that make you happy like that is ultimately joyful it should be it is for me like again you make the own call your own call but for me it's been joyful and uh, so one thing that's been real, real fun for me is writing uh, the, these posts and, and actually the newsletter is turning out to be more fun. So I encourage you to subscribe to that. If it's not your thing, like unsubscribe, I don't care. Like I'm not, I'm not going after stats, I'm going after happiness. So uh, check that out. I'll put a link down here too, or you cruise over to New Hampshire, man. There's places to sign up all over the site. So um, that's it. Like that's, that's really the take home here. Like rainwater harvesting, really cool driving and designing your life towards happiness that's the goal i hope i hope you you do that thanks a lot